I'm Heather. I'm a PhD student in Applied Sciences. This is my typical day. Follow me. For my PhD, I'm working on the family Omastrephidae, specifically on the genus Nototodarus. For my PhD, it's the population genetics of aerosquid. And these are commonly known as calamari in New Zealand. There's two different species, and all I want to know, do they all interbreed with each other within a species, or are there separate groups that hang out in different locations? So these are aerosquid, um, and these are actually, I just found my label. These are ones that I caught in the boat. Um, and so these I'm trying to do population genetics on. Uh, I have other squids that are preserved in jars, um, but those ones are for taxonomy. These ones, just population genetics. The best part of what we do is when we find new species. It's the most exciting thing, where you actually run through the hallways and tell anybody that will listen that you found something new to science. <laughs> Depends on the color. So if you uh, burst the eyes, purple will come out. If you burst the digestive gland, which is kind of like a liver, it'll be orange. Uh, if you get the stomach, then you don't really know what's going to come out, but possibly bits of old fish. So. It's a lot of disgusting things hiding inside of a squid. <laughs> I live in a vegan flat, and so everyone else is a little bit sensitive to the disgusting squid smells that I take home sometimes. <laughs> I got a lot of problems no one else has. <laughs> the biggest misconception I've found about being a student is that people often say, you do marine biology, you must love whales and dolphins, when in fact, whales and dolphins eat squids. And, and so therefore they're not my favorite creatures in the ocean. Sometimes science equipment is not as scientific as you would expect. So uh, in our old lab, we, we had a microwave that actually had a pizza setting on it. So we would use this microwave for making agros gels. And that's a very, one of the most scientific processes we do. But you have to take your things and microwave them by the pizza setting, for the vegetables, use the potato symbol, and that's how we ended up uh, microwaving our samples. <laughs> People think that you must be super smart or superhuman to be doing this because you're becoming a doctor or getting a master's of science when actually it's, we're just regular people and all you really need to do is love what you're doing and be persistent. So even when things go wrong, you just stick with it. 